Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that uh, there are 54 employees of a company and they are spread across four different offices and each employee working in exactly one office. So this data table has values missing and we are given some information. Uh, the At least two employees work in each office of the company. The average age of the employees working in each office is an integer. And the average salary of all the employees is 40,250. And the average age of employees working in office B and D is 29. Okay. So uh, using this, we can find for B and D the average age because we are given the, uh, uh, the weighted average that is 29. So B is 42 and in D it is 28. Okay. And the average age is 29. So we can say that this is 13 ratio, one, 1 ratio 13. Okay. Now we are given that at least two employees work in each office. So the number cannot be 1 and 13. We can take 2 and 26. And if we take 3 and 39, what will happen is total will go beyond 54. There are 54 employees. Okay. So if we take 3 and 39, it will be beyond that. So this is not possible. This is the only possibility. So two employees in B and 26 employees in D. Now uh, we can find the number of employees in C and that is one of the questions which is a sitter. So 15, 41, this will be 13. So 13 employees in office C. Okay. Now what is the average age of the employees working in office B and C? So we do not need to find anything for this. We can use this to calculate the values. So this is 42 into 2 plus 13 into 84 and 390 which is 474 and if we divide by 15 uh, we get 15 threes are 45 24 is 1.6 so 31.6 years okay what is the average salary of the employees working in office B now we will have to use this information to find the average salary of this office so what we will do is we know the grand uh, the grand total okay so uh, what what we should do is we we'll consider only in thousands so this is 40250 so let us write as 40.25 there are total of 54 employees so 40.25 into 54 so that will be the total salary of all the employees 40 into 54 into 40 will get 2160 and 0.25 will be 13.5. So 2173.5. Okay, so this is the total salary of in thousands. Okay, uh, this is in thousand of all the employees. Okay, now what we will do is we will uh, find the totals of these and subtract. So 13 into 40 is. and 13 into 36 26 into 42 we will subtract all these totals from the grand total so this is 520 okay 36 into 13 108 that is 468 and this is uh, 1050 1092 okay 1560 20 80 so this is the total salary of the employees of these three offices. So minus 2080, we will get 93.5. That is 93.5 thousands. And there are two employees. So if we divide by two, we will get 46.75. So 46,750 is the answer to this question. Next is one employee from office A whose age is 51 is transferred to office B and the remaining employees in office A are transferred to office D. The average age of the employees working in office D increases by 10 years. What is the average age of the employees initially working in office A? Okay, so we are transferring one employee from this office to uh, one employee from here to here. Okay, and rest of the 12 employees are transferred here. Okay, so we'll first find the total age of all these employees and that will help us get the answer. So uh, the average age of the employees 
uh, in office D increases by 10 years. So now they have uh, 38 is the average age and they will have 38 employees. Right, so total age now is 38 into 38. That is equal to uh, 361 into 4, 14, 44. Okay. And now this was the total age. Now previously total age was 26 into 28, which is 27 square minus 1. That is 728. Okay, so increase in age is 716 years. This is of 12 employees. Okay, and there was one more employee, his age is 51. Okay, so this total is 767. We need to divide by 13. So the last digit should be 9. Okay, if we divide by 13, the last digit should be 9. Or you can easily divide also 13 into 5, 65, 1179. So the answer is 59 years. So it was a simple set just involving some mathematical calculations and that is the solution and the answers to the questions.